In this lesson, I want to show you how to add items to a database uh, using SQL, SQLite um, in Titanium. So in the last uh, lesson, we created an app that essentially adds, uh, or sorry, adds yes to a list um, uh, that's pre-populated from a database. So if I start this up, I think I have two items in this list at the moment. Um, yeah, first item and something called hello. So these are uh, these are contained within the database, but I I don't have any way of adding items to the database. So if I do uh, world and then again, uh, so the item is in the list, but if I uh, if I quit out of the app, actually let me do that. Quit and then restart the app. The data item uh, isn't persistent, so uh, when we see this come back up, we won't see uh, we won't see the, the item that I just added. Okay, so we need to uh, we need to do something so that when we actually do an add, um, it will be displayed here. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do is modify the um, the add uh, module. And what this does right now is uh, displays a couple of labels and fields. Um, it adds something to the list, but it doesn't actually add it to the database. And so there's a point right here where I want to also add data to database. OK, so um, it's a fairly simple thing. Uh, we just need to open up the database. So ti dot ti dot database. Open, and I want to use that same uh, database that was referred to uh, before. So you see here, uh, we install the database, but then later we need to use Open to access it, and that's what I'm doing here. Is I'm just going to open the database, and then um, I need to do the following command: so rows equal db dot execute. And then I'm going to do an insert into list, and then the names of the fields that I'm going to, uh, um, the columns from the table. So it's name and description, and then the values that I'm going to insert. Um, so the, um, let me create a quick file here. The way that, uh, or the format of the uh, of the commands that uh, we're executing here. So insert, insert into, and then uh, we want to choose the table, and then um, let's see, and then the names of the columns. Uh, let's do column one, column two, dot, 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 and then the values of each. So, bell one, bell two. Now, uh, so this is the SQL command that, uh, that we're executing. This is SQL command. Uh, what we want, uh, what we need to do is uh, create a string out of this uh, command and use that um, in our code. And so I'm going to have a bunch of uh, quotation marks and whatnot uh, in this uh, example. Let me finally get it done. So we have the column, so column name and description, and then the values. And I need to have uh, a bunch of quotation marks here. So there's a backslash quote, and then a single quote, plus name tf dot value plus, and then another backward double quote and a question and a co a comma, and. Um, believe we need another double quote and plus a 
description tf.value. And let's see, a single quote. This is getting hard to read. <clears throat> so single quote, and then I think that's it. Oh, I need a plus. So uh, believe it or not, this is the format of the SQL command. And all these quotes, uh, single quotes and double quotes, are meant to delimit the values that are being passed to this values uh, uh, function here uh, in the SQL command. OK, so uh, last thing is we need to close the database. All right. So finally, we can execute this. If I've typed in everything correctly, then um, items will get added to the database as well as to our list. OK, so here's our, uh, here's our app. I'm going to add hello again. Hi there. So hello again is added. And um, so it's in the list. Uh, we also now want to verify that it's actually in the database. And so how we're going to do this is I'm going to quit out of the app. So quit. And now when I execute it, the um, the list item or the, that list item will be persistent so it'll also be it'll remain in the app so there it is hello again so anyway so that's the uh, that's how you um, that's how you add items into the database so you uh, you select or sorry you uh, open the database use your uh, this insert command um, and then close the database um, there's actually, uh, I can just reveal the code here, uh, so that's, that's the code. So anyway, that concludes this lesson.